So this is my electric bike. I've been building it and working on it for a little over a year now. This bike has a 52 volt 20 amp hour lithium battery. It's a triangle battery in the frame. The motor controller is a 1000 watt and has a light shunt mod and beefed up uh, traces. I also upgraded the motor phase wires from whatever they come with in the kit to 14 gauge. It was pretty difficult to do to run everything through the little hole in the axle, but I got it done. I got it all back together. Now I just need to figure out what to do with this. And today's video is about how I install the disc brake. The first thing that you need to do is so you need to take your rear wheel off this wheel, because I have done a few mods to it. First step for me is to remove all the wiring for it. Alright, all those are off. Next step, I need to take this cover off. The next thing that I'm doing right now is I'm disconnecting the motor phase wires and the Hall Effect sensor wires. I kind of hate that torque arms mount with hose clamps. Like I wish that there was an easier way to mount something like this without using a welder. Okay, next step is to take the axle nuts off. I Pretty sure that's a 13 sixteenths. After taking the axle nuts off, I decided it was as good a time as any to take off the original brakes for the last time. The whole thing. The whole enchilada. The whole chalupa. Once you've taken the axle nuts and torque arms off, you're good to take the rear wheel off so you can mount the brake rotor. Oh, chain. That's right. Gross. Yeah. Okay. I saw that my hub motor actually came with this weird plastic thing that sat where the brake rotor would sit. This is going to be useful for realizing if you got the right parts or not. Uh, this is too big. Fuck. After reordering the right parts, I put the new brake rotor on the wheel and I put the wheel back on the bike, including the torque arms and axle nuts and everything. The reason why mounting brakes on this bike is such a big deal is that there isn't any mounting point for a rear brake caliper. So I'm using a piece of this aluminum to make a bracket for that. I just drilled a bunch of holes in it and then uh, drilled the holes bigger until they all met up. So that'll be for putting a hose clamp through to clamp this on. Trying. We're going to spend hours here. We're going to have to get used to my first day. Noise! That. Let's see. It's true that God goes on the works for somebody's back is turned. All right. That's done. Uh, now it's time to mount up this brakey cable. And a squad of stormtroopers, a squad for prisoners to my ship. At this point, it was just about rebuilding the bike and uh, plugging everything back in and reconnecting all the cables and everything so that we can test it out with real power. All right, let's uh, see how she do. All right.
I know that this isn't a real test because the brakes aren't stopping a real load, they're just stopping the wheel from spinning, but I am very excited to take this on the trail so I can see how it really performs. I rode it around a little bit yesterday and it seemed to be working good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see how it performs. I got my other GoPro mounted here. Did you see that squirrel? <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Man, this thing's fun when the battery's full. amazing guys the only problem that this bike had before was that the rear brake sucked well i mean that's all i had for today so you guys let me know what you thought of this project let me know what you thought of the video overall like and subscribe for more uh, e-bike content this has been dylan does it